Malahide United were left to rue a host of missed chances as Maynooth University Town caused an upset to qualify for the quarter-finals of the FAI Intermediate Cup. Malahide's cause wasn't helped by the sending off of Glenn Daly early in the second half, but knew going into this match that they wouldn't have things their own way given Maynooth's excellent recent form in the Senior 1 Sunday. The university side are currently second in the division, just two points behind Eden Dairy but with four games in hand on the leaders. They also gave Swords Celtic a fright in the Cahill Cup recently, with the Fingal side edging past them on penalties after extra time. As well as that, the college side won this competition last year, beating for House Clover in the final at the Aviva after extra time. With all that in mind, the visitors traveled to Gannon Park without fear and began the game well, with striker Owen McDermott looking dangerous early on. Malahide, who recently lost the services of striker Carl Moody who left for Newry just before Christmas, looked short of ideas up top as Darren Craven failed to see much of the ball. The visitors deservedly took the lead after 15 minutes and it was little surprise that Owen McDermott scored it. The Maynooth striker had looked very dangerous from the kickoff and he made no mistake when put through on goal as he found the corner of the net to put the students in front. That goal seemed to wake Malahide up and the hosts enjoyed their best spell of the game immediately after that strike as they finally began to get on top. Darren Craven was inches away from an equalizer as his shot from distance flew the wrong side of the post. The home side continued to push forward and with 35 minutes gone they were back on level terms. Craven controlled the ball well before playing and Jordi M. Bemba who finished with a plum to make it 1-1. It looked as though the teams would go in level at the break, but there was late drama in the half as Maynooth re-established their lead thanks to Mark Colgan who rose highest before thumping home a header from a corner kick. Malahide came out for the second period in determined mood and created a number of half chances early on, with Dylan Cashin and Darren Craven again going close. However, the whole complexion of the match changed 10 minutes after the restart when centre-back Glenn Daly received two yellow cards in the space of five minutes to leave the hosts with 10 men. Malahide manager G.E.R. Coglin shuffled his pack to try and shore up his defence, but in doing so his side lost their attacking threat. Malahide huffed and puffed late on as they tried to get back into the game, but with 10 men it proved difficult and ultimately Maynooth held out for victory. Fingal Independent